We're wondering if you can break down how this iteration differs maybe from the YA story that we've been accustomed you know, to reading. Um, Aya, do you wanna go first? Yeah, so compared to the book and the show, um, one of the biggest things is, at least for me and Sorian, is that Amash and Natsuki don't actually exist in the original book. Mm -hmm. um, it follows uh, everyone else, uh, as well as Adia's character as well, Cherie forgot to mention before but yeah she's also not in the book originally but um on top of that I would say the show itself expands so much more mm -hmm. outside of what the book kind of provides but with you know at the same time still keeping the integrity of the stories of the purpose of you know what those stories were and such so Aman, how about you? Because obviously your character kind of is the connecting between the two uh, iterations. Yeah, I feel like um, I feel like a, a main difference with Ilanka. Um, she's in the book described as Polish, and I'm for sure not Polish, um, which I think is a great thing that we have such a diverse cast and we get to kind of uh, show that um, you know terminally ill kids you know, are look diverse like us. Um, and also I would say our B stories are very different. Um, and, you know, they have, you know, their own spin on it. But I think that Christopher Pike fans of the Midnight Club would still find themselves to enjoy our, our version of the adaptation. And I mean, and I do find that there have been some comparisons online since the trailer and logline dropped that it has like big, uh, are you afraid of the dark energy um, with all the storytelling at night. Um, I was wondering if you feel like those comparisons are fair and if you'd like to say anybody who's anticipating a spookier version of that. Chris, would you like to go? Oh uh, yeah, I would say that they're based off of just what they've seen of the show so far, that it's a fair comparison. Um, I know that there's like the Midnight Society in that show. And so that kind of probably reminds people of it, but um, I think that's probably as far as that goes is the storytelling aspect of the show. And although in the Midnight Club, the stories are almost the biggest part of the show, I think there's so much more going on at the hospice. Um, yeah, and th this version has dying kids. So, you know, that'll definitely spice up the mix.